All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Karkwadash. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone for teaching us for our saying truth according to, according to the Bible well and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem and Shai went into the Lord's will and edifying lesson on the true, the true riches, you see, which is uh, this wisdom, uh, knowledge, understanding of the Bible. You see, these riches are uh, is what's going to allow us to uh, uh, to to uh, navigate during the time of Jacob's trouble, the times that are fastly approaching. You see, and while we have this uh, liberty, you know, wherein Yahweh by Shemal Shai has bestowed upon us this grace period, this is a time to uh, be uh, building up. Uh, your spiritual bank account. You see, wherein Yah by Shema Shai, you know, will allow you to uh, withdraw from, you know, during the times of trouble. This is uh, Matthew six and nineteen. Lay up not lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust do of corrupt. You see, uh, uh, what will we have right now? You know, what do people hold valuable? These F R N notes. You know, the Federal Reserve, you see, uh, dealing with these uh, paper money, fiat currency, uh, slog it up, fiat, fiat currency. You see, it says, lay not for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moss, where moth and rust do corrupt. You see, right now we're in hyperinflation. You know, all these people who are working hard in their jobs, you know, they're having to work harder. You see, their, their money it is become is becoming moth eaten it's becoming it's it's corruptible it's becoming worthless you know we know that the end all be all Esau is going to try you know to uh he's going to push this this uh this chip you see what i mean this new digital currency but that's all going to fail because, you know and the only thing you know those who join themselves onto you know taking that chip Taking that fiat currency is going to be destroyed by nuclear missiles, you know, in the lake of fire, according to Revelations 14 and 9. So it says, lay not for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust do have corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Yeah, because dealing with this new, uh, uh, this new, you know, way of money, you see Esau Edom's going to have the power to shut off your money, you know, if you uh, don't obey you know, his way of life. You see, if you want to uh, go out of what the norm is, if you want to have any type of voice, you see, uh, that's easily, easily can be taken away. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. You see, treasures in heaven. You see, which is this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see, where we have a great reward if we continue to seek the kingdom of heaven. You see? Because a desire of wisdom uh, a give to a kingdom. You see? So, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do have corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You see? Your treasure, where your mind is. You know, uh, it's like you said, where your treasure, what you hold valuable, you see, there where your mind be also. So our mind is on this word. Our mind is in this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the promises wherein Yah Bashma Shai have bestowed upon us, you see, and we now have hope. And us having hope, you know, which is that expectation, you know, uh, we have a chance to be saved. You see, so our mind. You know, our, where our treasure is in getting this knowledge, you know, that we may be stable in the times to come. Real quick, this is a Proverbs chapter 4, verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forsake it not. Neither decline from the mouth, neither decline from the words of my mouth, forsake her not. And she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. How do you, uh, 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 per, how does, how is wisdom going to preserve you? You see, by keeping you stable, by keeping you, uh, uh, uh afloat. 
The scriptures say, The Most High loveth none but them that dwell with wisdom. You see? So it says, Love her and she shall keep thee. The scriptures say, If thou desire wisdom to keep the commandments. You see? So if you keep the commandments of Yah by Shema Shai, wisdom is going to keep you. Keep you from what? The hour of temptation. The scriptures say, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them which dwell upon the earth. You see? And let's see if uh, 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 your bank account is going to be able to save you from the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see? But wisdom will. Wisdom, uh, uh, you see? Doing the things that please Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's how you're going to be pardoned for your sins. That's how you're going to be, uh, be able to be saved. Money cannot save you. It says, Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Not, not money, you know, but what does this world teach you? To go to school get, so you can get a good job. You see, so you can get money, so you can live a comfortable life, so you can get the riches. I got the definition of rich. Having a great deal of money or assets, wealthy. Meaning what? To live comfortably. To have more uh, than, than uh, uh, you see? It says wealthy. It says abundant, plentiful. To have plentiful. You know? So wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the thing that you should have plentiful with. You see? Bu abundance. You should have abundance of wisdom. You see? Let me get a precept real quick. So we can uh, understand what wisdom is a little better. This is uh, Job uh, 28 and 21. I mean, actually 28 and 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So to fear Yah by Shema Shai, that's how wisdom is obtained. You see, that's the very beginning of wisdom. To fear Yah by Shema Shai. To, to fear your creator, to fear your maker, to do what he says do. Our face of consequences. You see? And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So to depart from evil, you know, this world, that's the understanding. So you show forth your wisdom. You show forth your, your wisdom and understanding. You see? Your understanding and wisdom by departing from, from evil, by being a doer of the word. And not just a hearer only. You see? So it said wisdom is the principal thing. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom. Meaning fear the Lord. And depart from evil. You see? And with all that getting. Uh, 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 it says therefore get wisdom. And with all that getting. Get understanding. So the more you learn. About Yahweh Shema Shai. And what pleases him. You know, continue to conti continue in those works. You see? This is a wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5. If riches be a possession to be the if riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? So what is richer than wisdom? You see? You know, we'll wait. You see? Nothing's more uh, valuable than wisdom, than the riches of Yah by Shema Shai. It says, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7, Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. So you got to pray that Yah by Shema Shai, you know, bestows more fear upon you so you can be obedient. You see? Obedience is the way unto life. You obey in Yah by Shema Shai, and Yah by Shema Shai will give you wisdom. It says, Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called upon Yahweh, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her before scepters and thrones. So here it is, scepters and thrones, you know, rulership, you know, uh, 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 was preferred. You know, it should be, it's preferred before, uh, 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 you know, wisdom was preferred before all these things. And esteem riches in nothing in comparison of her. 
It says, Neither compare I unto any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as little sand, and silver should be counted as clay before her. This is talking about the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You see, because without the Lord, you know, without following, without uh, living your life the right way, as He has purposed us, you know, these things become corruptible. You see, wisdom is the principal thing. Principal meaning the most important. You see? So without wisdom, you know, without the knowledge and understanding, you know, these things become corruptible. These things uh, become uh, moth-eaten. You see? I loved her above what a uh, health and beauty and chose to have her instead of light. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. It says, All th good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hand. So all good things came to me with her. So with wisdom, you know, getting knowledge and wisdom first, you know, that's when uh, 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 everything else is going to uh, come, you know, entail. That's when, uh, 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 that's when we're going to get, uh, real quick, let scripture speak. This is a uh, wisdom of Solomon 6 and 19. And in corruption make of us near unto the most high. Therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. You see the desire of wisdom bringeth you to a kingdom. You see that's why Yahweh Shai said what? Repent ye therefore for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Therefore the desire of wisdom you seek in the Lord. Bring it to a kingdom. Bring it to a kingdom. You see? In order for you to enter into that kingdom, you got to enter in at the straight gate. You know, we're going to have to go through the time of Jacob's trouble. You see? But wisdom is going to keep us. She's going to preserve us, you know, during that time so we can make it to the kingdom. You see? If you delight then, be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people... Honor wisdom, and ye shall reign forevermore. You see, so we're the kings, uh, and we have to honor wisdom. You see, the Lord have overthrown uh, the proud judges, you know, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. So that's why the kingdom, you know, we're going to get these laws in our inward parts. Let's go back. This is a wisdom of Solomon 7. In, 19, in 12, it says, Wisdom Psalm 7 and 12, And I rejoiced in all in them all, because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. So the mother of them, meaning she, she births these things. You see what I mean? Just as you sow into the earth these, you know, so if you sow righteousness into the earth, you know, the earth being symbolic for a, the, a woman, right? The things that you're going to reap, you know, is is is, is thrown scepters, you know. But first, we gotta go through this straight gate, and these people who are trusting, you know, and they're they're sowing uh, corruptible things into the earth. So those things are not going to uh, protect them. Those things are not going to keep them stable. It says, "I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally." You see, so you got to learn diligently. You got to constantly be uh, studying the scriptures. Scripts say, uh, happy are we, O Israel, because the things that are uh, well-pleasing unto Yah by Shema Shai are made known unto us. It says, I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally. What does that mean? You know, not only preaching the words of Yah by Shema Shai, but your conduct, how you conduct yourself in the world. You see, how, how are you being a doer of the word? Or are you just being a hero only? You know, are you obeying the Lord? Uh, uh, not in his presence only, but now much more in his absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It says, I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches. You see. It says, for she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use her become the friends of God. The friends of Yahweh Shemel Shai. 
So she is a treasure that never fell away. You know, we, we that the knowledge is it's 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 a uh, it's un it's a um, you know you're always gonna have you're always gonna be able to go in there and grab a uh, little nuggets out. You it ain't never gonna come a time. Oh, I'm all out. I'm all out of wisdom. You see, your bank account can be all out. You see, she is a treasure unto men that never felleth, which they that use becomes the friends of God, being uh, commended for the gifts that come from learning. You see, and ultimately we, we want to become the friends of Yahweh Shem El Shaka. They that make uh, uh, the, them, they that make themselves the friends of this world. They become the enemies of Yahweh Shema and Shai. And was not uh, Abraham a friend of the Most High? You know, you see? So, you know, that's what we're striving for to be on the Yahweh Shema and Shai's uh, good side, you know, when all hell breaks loose. I'm going to get two more scriptures. I'm going to close it out. Proverbs 4 and 7 Riches profit not in the day of wrath. So, these carnal riches. You know, those things are going to fail you. But what we just read, wisdom is not going to fail you. You see, uh, uh, wisdom isn't going to fail you. It says, riches profit not in the day of wrath. There's no profit in riches. You know, here it is. We're in hyperinflation. You know, Every, you know, come on, yeah. It says, but righteousness deliver from death. You see, uh, you watch these uh, movies, you know. You got you got uh, the Lord's created spirit for vengeance, right? You got uh, these uh, movies dealing with vengeance. You know, there's a vendetta uh, someone has. You know, protagonist. He he's trying to get back the villain the whole time. You know, once he got the villain, the villain has all type of money. He's like, just take the money. You know, take the money, save. You know, spare me. Then what? The money never saves him. <laughs> the money never saves him. But it says, but righteousness deliver from death. The righteousness of Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to be able to deliver us from death. <clears throat> this is a, it says, uh, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. So we're going to be directed during these times of trouble. During that, uh, uh, while we're travel, we're being directed now. You see, while we're traveling down this straight and narrow path, Yahweh Shai is the guide of them who keep His commandments and precepts, saith the Lord. You see, Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So the wisdom and knowledge and knowledge of Yahweh Shema Shai is what's going to be able to keep us stable during the time of Jacob's trouble during the time. That we are living in right now. You see. It says. In strength of salvation. So this is where our strength lies. You know. In this knowledge. Departing from evil. Fearing Yahweh Shema Shai. You know. Honor and wisdom. You know. Exercise and wisdom. You know. Being a doer of the word. And not just a hero only. It says. <clears throat> in strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord. It's his treasure. So the fear of Yahweh Hashem Shai is a treasure. You know, and we have we have stumbled upon this treasure. We have stumbled upon, you know, this wisdom. You know, however be brothers have found out about the truth. You know, that's why scripture say the kingdom of heaven is like going to a man that found a field, you know, found a treasure in the field, you see, and went and sold all that he had and bought that uh uh uh, uh that field so he can have that treasure. Because that treasure is more valuable than anything that we can have. You know, this, this knowledge is more valuable than anything that we can have in this world. You know, so, uh, you know, we're prepping. You know, you got these uh, doomsday preppers. We're prepping in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema uh, We'll close out on this right here. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatever, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. You know, you're worrying about uh, getting the bag, securing the bag. Well, you're going to reap corruption. You see, those that are in those are going to, uh, uh, they're going to force you. You know, you trusting in your your uh, your riches. 
that 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 money that you got is going to force you to bow your the knee to the image of Baal. You see, and to worship Satan to take his mark, you know, which is a so-called white man if you can receive it. <laughs> it says, "For he that sowed to the flesh shall the flesh reap corruption, but he that sowed to the spirit, but he that sowed to the spirit shall the spirit." life everlasting what's the spirit this knowledge this word you see you sow and learn Yahweh by Shemal Shai you know you you walk you walk this thing you know this is an act these are actions you know this isn't just a lip service but let us not be weary in well doing see what we're doing is good you know what we're striving for is to be the friends of Yahweh by Shemal Shai and let us not be weary in well doing. So don't get tired of doing what's good. Don't be tired. Don't get tired of fighting this uh, good fight of faith. For in due season, you know that's why the scriptures say the measure out of the times diligently within themselves. You see, for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So you know we gotta continue the fight. The scriptures say that he that endureth unto the end. The same shall be saved. So continue to honor wisdom so that we may reign uh, forevermore. You know, Lord's will and blessing is edifying with that. And we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching us one percent truth, according to Barn Rule Well, and peace and blessings to those who elect the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.